Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to upgrade our first NAS to the actual production release of DSM-7. Now, <clears throat> depending on the model you have, DSM-7 may not be available. There are some models it's not available for, so as you walk through these steps, you, uh, you will know whether DSM-7 is available for your device or not. So, what I've got here is I've got a single disk a DS120J running the latest 6.2.4. In fact, uh, if we go down to update and restore, we can see we are on DSM 6.2.4-25556, which is the, related, the latest uh, 6.2.4 as of the filming of this video. And it is uh, June 30th, 2021. Now, uh, we are going to use this manual DSM update. That's uh, how Synology is telling us we need to do it right now. Um, and you'll note right here, it says the DSM version cannot be rolled back. The applied DSM must be newer than the current one. I will tell you there is a very non-supported way to roll back from DSM-7. It is not supported by Synology, but there is a way to do it. So one thing right now I want to tell you before you watch the rest of this video, before you do your upgrade, the very first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that all of your data is backed up and all of your configurations are backed up. If you need help with that, reach out. I'll give you some pointers on how to do that, point you to some videos and things like that. But make sure before you proceed, all of your data is backed up. All right, once you've done that and you're ready to upgrade your NAS, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Synology.com. Right on the front page, there's this Disk Station Manager 7.0. You're going to click the Learn More button. I may have been a little late on that. I'm going to click Learn More. We're going to then click the Download Now link, and it's going to take us to the Synology Download Center. What we're going to do is we're going to drop down, we're going to select NAS, and then I... My, this one that we're upgrading, the DS120J, is actually right here on top, so you would need to uh, scroll through and find your model. Now, this is where you're going to find out whether it is actually available for your model or not. There are some disclaimers out there where you can find that it's not, like, it's not available for the 1621XS uh, Plus that I have. Uh, I do have a beta version that's running on that, but the full release is not ready for that yet. There are some, I think the flash st station models are not available, things like that. So once you go to the download center, you're going to see whether it is available now for your device or not. So I'm going to select DS120J, and right here it shows me the current 6.2.4, so I'm going to select that version that I'm on, and I can see that 7.0-41890 is available. So I'm going to select that, and I am going to download it. Now, what this uh, will also tell you is the sequence in which you must uh, install DSM to get to the latest version. So there could be, um, if you're on, as an example, like you're on the 6.2.2 and you wanted to go to 6.2.4, it would show you the path. And sometimes there's a patch in there, sometimes they're not, but we're going to go back to this. Now I'm actually going to download this 7.0-41890 and it is downloading. Now it's 281 megabytes and it is actually done downloading now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to Event Horizon. That is the name of the NAS that I chose here. So what we're gonna do is I am going to now select uh, that file from my downloads, and then we're gonna upload it. So I'm gonna go to Browse, I'm gonna choose the download. I, I can't remember what else is in that folder, so I'm probably gonna cut some of this out, but I'm gonna choose that file that I just downloaded. All right, so you can see here is the file path. I'm going to click OK, and it is going to come up. It's it's circling, saying transferring data to the server. So this is where we are uh, uploading the DSM-7 operating system. So we're going to give this a minute. And just a reminder, while we're waiting for this, if you are doing this, you need to make sure that all of your settings are backed up, your data is backed up. Um, in the event that things go south, you have to make sure you've still got your data. Okay, we've got a little bit of progress here. It says it's loading. 
All right, so now we get this update notice. Um, it says before you continue, make sure you read through this. So it, it tells you um, all of the updates third party. Now, also, if you run Plex, Plex does break out of the box. Our fix is posted, but Plex is going to break. I understand and I agree to update my system. So I'm going to click next. It says it may take 10 to 20 minutes. Do not shut down. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. And now it says it's going to take about 10 minutes. So um, we're going to let this complete. You can see it's preparing. It's going to install. It's going to reboot. It's going to do all those things. And so we are going to go ahead and let this complete. And when it's done, we will be right back. All right, so uh, there was about I don't know, seven minutes, eight minutes or so uh, where it was installing. Now you can see it, it's, it's up. It's got a little bit of a different look. Um, it's got that DSM-7 look, and now it is updating the packages. So it says it's going to take some time. And so we're going to let it do this, and we will be back um, as soon as we are ready to log in. We're logging in, it's updating our data and settings. Now, uh, the drive that is in this didn't have any data on it. All right, so what's new in DSM-7? Streamline and more intuitive, easier management and maintenance, faster and more secure. Uh, Active Insight, if you haven't seen that, we're gonna be doing videos on all of these uh, new things. For now, we're gonna skip this and no thanks. Uh, and I'll send the device analytics, that's cool. but. You'll notice that on these uh, other models, the DSM-7 is just so much faster. So at this point, uh, our uh, NAS is now upgraded. It's ready for the next set of videos. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to start cranking these things out. Um, go check and see. You know, some people are going to hold off, and, and I don't disagree um, with, with holding off necessarily on an upgrade, though, if, you're, if you've been waiting for this. When you've got your data backed up and you're ready to go, go, go for it. Go grab it. It's, it's official, so they are going to support you, support the masses now. We'll support you. Um, if you run into issues, you need to roll back. We can help you with that. But that's it. Uh, quick little overview here. You can just see how much quicker uh, the NAS runs. Here's our update and restore, checking for the latest version of DSM. So it's going out to the uh, Synology servers to see if there's a... A uh, newer version of DSM available or is not, it is up to date. You can see that, I mean, the look is is totally, totally uh, new. I mean, you know, the wording and things like that, it's there, but they've redone the UI. It's a lot slicker. So I have to create a storage pool and a volume and all that good stuff. And so I am actually going to leave this for the next video. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, that link is down below. And if you'd like to use any of uh, our affiliate links to buy any hardware, it's very much appreciated. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Stay tuned for more Synology DSM-7 videos. There's so much content to cover. Uh, and uh, once again, thank you for being here. I'm Willie, and as always, I'll see you in the next.